What's going on everybody? This is Ultimate Bear here with another episode of Midnight Munchies and I'm just playing Pokemon Go. I'm trying to have a good time, trying to catch some rare and random Pokemon. Let's start it off with a horsey. This horsey right here is level 79, but it's alright. But you know what? Any way you put it, whenever you catch Pokemon, you're gonna get Pokemon candies. And this can evolve into a really cool little Pokemon named Seed, just in case you guys don't know the first original 150 seizure is a water pokemon and he does look dope as shit i wish i could have him i do have two eggs that are hatching with me right now and they are 2k's from my first one i do get a meow at 181 a whole bunch of candies meow candies that is and uh, they will definitely go into hopefully getting a version Next one in line is a Vulpix, dude. I was soup because I never get any good Pokemon. But once I got this Vulpix, I thought it was dope. And this Vulpix is one of my favorites. Um, I was about to say Solar Fire Pokemon. And it turns into a beast as Ninetales. So it looks dope as shit. After that, we continued on our journey. Encountered another Meow. This one at 222, and sorry about missing my Pokeball guys, yeah, I'm still trying to get the hang of that little twist and roll thing, so, I'm not the best at going in Pokeball, don't, don't, don't call me the very best just yet, and the second Pokeball, he basically slapped it out of my hand, had to use a great ball, and this guy just jumps out, like my third Pokeball on the side, but, and again, is he done? And it's over. Got it with the judge. He thought he was gonna get away. Nah, son. No team rocket gets away on my watch. But it is on, and we continue our little journey. And I see another meow. This one is at 141, a little lower than the one that I just saw. And again, this Pokeball. And I missed that one. No, I actually got that one. Let's see if he gets out. He actually gets out and he runs away. Holy crap. This guy just bolted, but don't mind that because there's a bolt right there too. And I had just enough time to try to see if I could test my luck and try to catch it. For those that don't know, gold beans of all form is Sea King. And I am also trying to get that form, I have to do the range until it can calm down and soothe its little soul. If fish have soul, but I haven't got it in Japanese, Japanese, you know, I so don't quote me on that, I just heard it from somewhere. And the second Pokemon goes down, and is he in? Yes, looks like he is done and ready to be dismantled. <laughs> right. Got him at 175, so we're not done. And we keep walking around and we see a star. Now, although I have a star, I have a good enough level. So we still think that this extra one is there just so you know, we can boost them up a little bit. That goes for all Pokemon, so don't think just because we caught a star, you know, we caught a rabbit, or we caught a pigeon, that they don't come with. Play. They definitely come to play if you especially want to have a Pidgeot or a, a Radicate at a high level, any gym, a Beedrill, or even a Butterfree, depending on if you get a lot of damage along the way. And the same goes for Vero, because, yeah. And right now, we have a Paris. And Paris is 316? The Raspberry just for the simple fact that I am trying to evolve my Paris into a Paris set, which would fall good on my Pokedex. And also, Paris set is a weird Pokemon that not a lot of people like really care or like, but the story behind it, it's fucking sick. Basically, it has Cordyceps. If you guys don't know what Cordyceps is, that's basically a, a, a disease that. Almost like a, like, not a disease, I would say like a fungus. 
Next one up <laughs> is Pidgeotto. If you guys want to check out Corsep's, you can look it up. Pidgeotto is a pretty good bird Pokemon. And, I mean, I have Pidgeot. Pidgeot is a fucking Pokemon. I liked them back in the day. I like them now. And it's definitely worth a catch. Get those candies and stock up so you can power up your Pidgeot and remove a gym or two. Definitely go to squads. After that, we keep going, and this mother-loving son of a bitch gives me so much trouble that I literally go insane. I lose my mind. Too bad there's not a lot of commentary going on, but if you guys were there listening to my commentary, you guys would know that this is one of the worst battles that I have. This is almost as if you were fighting a Zapdos, and this guy would not stay in the freaking Ball. Where is Happy Gilmore? But like, mm, like you need him to say, like, stay home. Don't you just go to your house. Get in your house. This guy would not listen. And I gave him berries. And my fear was, this one is going to freaking leave. And I am not going to catch him. And he's got a stomach full of my berries. And he's again rolling freaking ball like it were dice. And sorry about this guys but you know I my speech is a little blurred just the simple fact that I'm tired the video did get deleted one time my commentary got deleted so I literally had to scrounge and do this all over again this battle watching it over really gives me a bit just for the simple fact that he would not quit he is a fighter all the way to the end but I really wanted to catch him just for the fact that I could turn him into a Venusaur after uh, Ivysaur, because I do have an Ivysaur, but I do need Venusaur, and I did spot one the other day, and it was just not working out, because I couldn't find it, and I wasn't going to tell anybody that I was driving with, yo, slow down, bro, we're trying to catch some Venusaur out here, and I was like, ah, fuck all that, and we finally catch him after a long and agonizing battle, it was fucking ridiculous, it was the longest battle I have ever Nonetheless, we catch this one. And from one of my 10k eggs, guess who pops up? It's Mr. Potato Head with some stockings or some leg warmers and mascara. Mr. Hip only himself. Then we go on to the next egg. From our next 2k egg, we get a Rhyhorn at 458. We still got another egg going. And what is it going to be? A Krabby, and that's all I have for a Krabby. Wish there was something else, but I mean, 332 is not that bad either. I do have a Kingler though, so I'm not too worried about that. And you gotta make sure you got all the incubators ready just so you can have your Pokemon good and ready to go because you are gonna be on a constant trail. So you gotta make sure that all your eggs aren't in incubators, guys. Don't be cheap. You have to buy your incubators because you only get one. You're gonna have so many eggs, you're not gonna know what to do, and they could possibly be Pokemon like legendary. So definitely try it. Look what I got. I got a hit only from a 10k guy. Incubators work. You guys need them. From another egg, a 2k, we get a Clefairy at a pretty high level, too, so not too bad. We got another egg. Gonna be a Geodude. And this Geodude drops at 390, so it's not that bad. Definitely, if you want to get a Graveler or a Golem, it's definitely the Pokemon to actually get out of the hatch egg just for the fact that you can't get those little extra candies. Hey guys, I'm sorry, but this video is coming to an end. If you guys like anything that you saw today, please comment, like, share, or subscribe. Yes, I am a level 17, and I am with Team Mystic. Sorry for those that are hating Team Valor and Team Instinct. I feel sorry for you guys, because you guys have made horrible life decisions. But other than that, I am joking, guys. Whatever team you're on, if you're on my team, you like, and you comment on these videos, then you are forever gold in my heart. But other than that, thank you guys for coming in and watching another one of my Midnight Munchie videos. If you guys, like I said, enjoy, 
y'all know what to do. So I'll catch you. This is Ultimate Bear signing out. Peace, guys.